Hello, this is Adderald and welcome to episode 13 of Greg Tech from Scratch. In this episode I'm going to show you how pipes work. Greg Tech adds two types of pipes, fluid ones that can transport liquids and item pipes that can transport items. So let's get started and take a look at how these work. Let's get started by taking a look at fluid pipes which are able to transport liquids around. There are eight different fluid pipes. The most basic one is the bronze fluid pipe which is able to transport 2400 liters per second and the most advanced one is the large tungsten steel fluid pipe with a capacity of 19200 liters per second. Now uh, you craft them like this. Uh, the most basic one you craft with six bronze plates, a wrench and a hammer and they're all crafted the same way except you have to replace the plates with the appropriate material. So for steel fluid pipes you need steel plates etc etc. The large uh, fluid pipes which um, have double the capacity of their basic counterparts they're crafted with the plates on the left and the right side instead of the top and the bottom. Uh, the recipe only gives you one of those pipes but again they have double the capacity so depending if you only need uh, to transfer liquids in a short distance or a large distance you might want to use uh, one type of pipe or the other. Uh, now how do, how do this work? Well, uh, let's say you have a container that's outputting by itself like this uh, thermal expansion tank then you can simply place a pipe down and then it's going to connect to uh, everything it can connect to around it and since the tank is outputting automatically the pipe is going to get the, the liquid and then it's going to try to output into whatever uh, available containers are around it. Now, since this is the most basic pipe, this is going to fill up pretty slowly. However, if we were to replace it with a uh, more advanced pipe, you're going to see that it's going to fill up much more quickly. That's the most advanced pipe. Let's see how fast it fills it up. There you go. So, what if you don't have an automated way of uh, outputting liquid like this thing here? Well, you can use uh, covers. In fact, the pump cover will do the trick. Let's say you have a pipe that you want to connect to, uh, you want to fill this tank from this one. So I'm going to put a, a couple of pipes here and then I'm going to put a pipe uh, somewhere in the world and I'm going to put a pump module on top. And then with a screwdriver I'm going to make sure that it's set to import mode. Now I can simply wrench it and put it down and the pump cover is going to stay on and now it's going to try to import from whatever liquid container is attached to and it's going to take all the water, it's going to go through the pipes and it's going to output into again whatever uh, tank is attached to it. So that's how you can make it work when you don't have um, when you don't have an automated way of outputting liquids so, um, what if you want to connect it to tanks but you don't want it to output into them? Well, you can use a shutter cover like this. Uh, it's crafted with an iron door and then a, a couple of aluminium plates in an assembling machine and you can put it here for example. But you're going to need also a redstone machine controller cover otherwise it won't work. So you can put it anywhere you want. And now if I have a tank here and I put some liquid in there. Let's get some water. This is not gonna output into the tank. It's going to go into the pipes and the pipes are gonna store it but it's not going to output into the tank uh, because of the shutter cover I put there. Now if I were to put um, use a redstone signal then the uh, behavior of the shutter cover is inverted and now it will output water into it, into the tank. So that's how fluid pipes work. Let's take a look at item pipes. Item pipes work very similarly to how fluid pipes work. However, they work with items instead of fluids. Now there are three basic item pipes, the brass, electrum and platinum ones and then you've got the large version of those. 
the difference between the, uh, the pipes is the item capacity, which is how much they're able to transfer per second. So the most basic one can transfer one stack of items per second, and the most expensive one can transfer eight stacks per second. They're crafted the same way as the fluid pipes, except with their uh, own plates. And this is how to use them. Let's place a couple of uh, pipes around. I've, I've got a chest here with items and a chest here that's empty and I want to transfer items from here to here. So let's place a couple of pipes and then I'm going to need a pipe with a conveyor module. Because this chest is not outputting automatically. If it were, uh, I wouldn't need the module. But in this case, I do need it. So let's make sure it's set to import. And, uh, oops. Let's just wrench it, place it down, and now the conveyor module is going to take items from this inventory and it's going to go through the pipes until it finds a valid container and it's going to put the items there. Now, uh, let's say I've got a chest here. Um, I've got a couple of chests here and then I've got a pipe that has a conveyor module attached to this side. What do you think is going to happen when I put a chest full of items in here? Well, it's unfortunately not going to transfer them um, balancedly, you know, in a balanced way through the chest, so uh, keep that in mind when you make your systems. Uh, you can also use a shutter cover to prevent um, items going from uh, to certain inventories. So here in this setup I've got a conveyor module and then I've got a shutter cover here attached to this chest I mean attached to the uh, side of the pipe that's uh, connected to this chest and then I've got a redstone controller cover which you need for the shutter cover to work and then I've got, a, I've got another chest attached to this free side of the pipe so when I put a chest full of items they're all gonna be uh, you know sucked into the pipe through the conveyor module and they're all gonna go to this chest because this one has a shatter cover. And that's how item pipes work. And that's basically all you need to know to make pipes work. So I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and I'll see you next time.